into ninth. He will indeed. They went testing, did the Dyna Find your back again. That's what I mean about it being loose on the rear. Well, Matt Jackson has a day job. He's been developing the brand new McLaren road car. That's certainly tail out stuff. Yeah, that's a tough, a tough job, isn't it? Someone's got to do it, I suppose. <laughs> Gordon Shedden's job, meanwhile, uh, uh, is running Knock Hill Circuit, the commercial side of it. And, and there's, there's his wife, Gillian, <laughs> <laughs> who's camera shy. <laughs> well, she's going to be uh, chewing her fingernails down to the quick. There's literally nothing between the two leaders, Jackson and Shedden, with lap times at least. But Jackson, a lead of 0.9 of a second. Then a two and a half second gap back to third position. Still Matt Neal and Jason Plato. There he is, one, two, gap, three, four, little bit of a gap, and then fifth position man, Tom Onslow Cole. We are with Collard. Looking back at Frank Rathel, Collard has gone to eighth position. He's 14 seconds off the pace. What in heaven's name has happened with a setup of his car? Yeah, just lost pace. This is very reminiscent of the third race at Brands when he was leading and then fell back. So we'll have to find out from the team what's going on exactly. Because normally when Rob gets out in the lead, oh, look at it sliding. When Rob gets out in the lead, he's pretty unstoppable. And he did that in the first race at Brands, but just hasn't been able to keep that form up. But uh, Rathal, a great run here, great run. He'd be very pleased to get in the, in tonight. He will indeed. They went testing, did the Dynajet Toyota squad with Frank Rathal and his dad. They went testing at Brands Hatch during the week. They drove five hours there. They had five sunny laps, came in for some changes, and it rained. Yeah. Drove five hours home. The joys of, of testing in England. <laughs> now then, we come on to the home straight once more, and Rathal's got a good drive as our camera picks up the orange and black Toyota. NGTC car for Frank Rathal. Weaving one way, he's going for it, he's going for the lunge, it's tighter than you think for in Redgate, and he gets cleanly through. That is Frank Rathall, now in ninth. Or is he? Or is uh, he? He's going to have to brave it out side by side. Collard's got a good run. He's actually going to be clean across the nose of Rathall. So, great put the power down really well out of uh, Redgate, did Collard in the rear wheel drive car. But Rathall's back on him again now. Oh, he nearly has a bit of a slapper through there. And look at the drive that Rathall's got. Great racing from the 25 year old. He's up, he's level, he's gone to the inside line, but it's the tighter line. Will he have the drive out of it? Collard thinks about tucking back, but he can't do it. Now, that was great racing. They both gave each other a lot of respect, a lot of room. Half a lap side by side, really good action. They come onto the back section as they build speed up to 130 miles an hour. And look at the leaders whilst we've been looking at the battle on the bubble of the top ten. Matt Jackson, Gordon Shedden, now a quarter of a second between them. And Shedden's on the pace, he's on the gas immediately. At yeah, the apex. looks to be carrying more corner speed, definitely. And, uh, uh, and Jackson's advantage has really evaporated now with a lap and a half to go. A lap and a half, and they come down the craners. And we know that Ford is quick on the straights, but is it working its tight too hard? It's a great camera shot. Cocking an inside rear wheel, you saw a puff of smoke coming from it, and then a, a great big puff of dust as he took cut the corner. Flash of overrun, and again another puff. Great racing. Look at the muck and bullets being thrown at, at the Honda as he comes up the hill. You've got to chuck it into the right hander. Where is the apex? It's there. Yeah, well, it's a bit like a motocross rider trying to roost the guy behind now, isn't it? It's a new tactic in touring cars. But it's certainly around that second. I wonder if Matt made a mistake because he, he looks to have just pulled that little bit of a gap again now on this lap. One more lap to go after the uh, cross the start finish line this time. Here is the battle continuing for third position. Matt Neal has got the defending to do, whilst his teammate Shedden has got the attacking to do with the two works Hondas. And as we start the last lap, it could be a first and second change, it could be a third and fourth change. Matt holds the inside line. Jason goes well wide, almost going to the 